Hi everyone. Well, in an earlier video, I went through this attic conversion and here I'll take you through exactly how much it cost, detailing the materials, the tradesmen I used, the work I did myself, how long it took, and I hope it helps you in your home improvement projects. I'll have created a set of drawings. Now, if you want to see how I go about creating drawings for a project like this and doing a survey, check out the other video here. I'm sure there's a link either above or at below. So before I go into the detail, I'm going to tell you how much I thought it might cost me before I actually started. And what I did here was I focused on all the things that I thought I could predict. So things like I knew how much a stair costs, I knew how much the windows might cost because I could just make those inquiries with the various manufacturers. And so these were big ticket items that I, I, I used to start with. So let's go through that first to see how my estimate at the start compared to what I actually ended up spending. I like to use Google Sheets because it's free, plus it syncs to all my devices. So that's what I'll be using today. with the roofing being done by others and the stair being done mainly by others. This is with me doing all the remaining work myself. These initial estimates together, I'm kind of doing it in the order I think the work will happen. Even the plastering I'm going to be doing myself, so that's why that's only £150. But if you are doing, because plaster is only £7 a bag, and I might only need 20 bags, but if you were doing this and you're getting a quote, you're looking at £12 a square metre for skim, and you would need to work out what your surface area of walls might be. I think you'd probably be looking at about £3,000 to plaster that size of attic, maybe if you include the stairwell. And then I've got the, the heating and the boiler. I didn't want a hot water cylinder. For me, for that size of house, I was confident that I would have the water pressure that I wanted and it's proved to be correct, there's been no problems with it. Plumbing and electrical are just general materials, electrical £500 included for an electrician to certify it and this heating cost will will have um, £200 for a gas engineer or do the final gas connections. Then we've got a structural engineer. You can do all your calculations yourself, I've never done it. And your council fees, this is planning permission, that's for your dormer windows and your building warrant, heat loss calculations, drainage, fire escape, stair width. So, so £40,000 was the budget. I actually spent £45,635 and that is pretty much penny perfect because all of these figures here, the month of April, that was my spend. Uh, five thousand three hundred and ninety-eight pounds. Um, that actually includes initial tools in this figure, but you know you might not be using the tools again. You know my initial timber was thousand pounds. Bought a circular saw for hundred and twenty-three pounds. Lots of sort of sundry payments from screw fix and Velux windows. There's them coming in one thousand four hundred fifty-six pounds for those three windows. Doors that was one thousand four hundred fourteen pounds. So you got to allow for things like skips. The skip was £368 for each skip. I got the biggest one possible. Started my roofing. This is for May and then June. More roofing. I paid the roofer in stages. Final payment for the windows. First payment of the stair was £2,868. More to look at the cost of the drainage, £512 just for that little thing. You'd never think it, would you? The, the acoustic insulation was £641 for the floor. Wouldn't think to include for all of that, would you? Uh, we're into uh, August. Plasterboard, £134. Quite cheap plasterboard. It took me about 14 months to do that job on my own in evenings and weekends. If you did that full time, you could probably do that in less than 12. And if there was two of you, you could do it in six months, probably less. I think if you had an electrician and a plumber, you could easily do that job in four months. 
Now, four months, let's just call that 18 weeks. Two guys on £250 a day, and maybe one guy on £100 a day. I think it's, it's sort of towards the 90 grand mark for what I attempted to do there with the amount of work downstairs just to get those stairs up, which meant reorganizing that bedroom as well. Most many people who do attics don't need to do any work downstairs. Going back to me, that's what I spent on that job. Interested to know your comments. I'm sure that might be a lot more than what many of you are spending on your own attics. But there again, that was a much more ambitious project than many attics in terms of the size of the dormers, size of the windows within that, the quality of the stairs, the oak finish on the floors and the doors. And I also put in two decent en suites and a third room up there. So it was three bedrooms, two en suites and lots of fancy finishes. So I'm sure you could get that down to a lot less than that if you wanted. But I wanted to add maximum value onto this development because I felt that it was in the area where I felt that that added value was going to be good for the actual gross development value of the property if and when I came to sell it. Well, hopefully now that I've taken you through how I did this from scratch and how I price my builds in general, I hope you find this interesting and can use this learning for your own projects. I will have another video that shows in greater detail how I actually price builds and the spreadsheets that I use to help me both for materials and labour and I hope that helps you in your improvement projects. If you've got any questions please leave them in the comment and I'll be more than happy to help and of course please if you haven't already subscribed, it really helps me and hit that like button.